objects. Now today I have introduced this mathematical tool, say number line. In the morning also we have talked about number line. And number line, this is a horizontal one. We can also place it in a vertical manner. So the upper side will be representing the positive and the downward is the negative one. Okay, first of all, let me draw it. This concept can easily be given on board. So I will just introduce it on this board. Okay, dear students, this is integers. Integers we are already familiar with. Integers uh, can be positive or negative natural numbers, including zeros. So, uh, negative integers, why do we need the negative integers? Suppose you go to the market carrying 10 rupees and you find one 12 rupees pen and you ask the stationery shopkeeper to give you the pen. So, when you have purchased a 12 rupees pen, that means 2 rupees you have borrowed from that person that you will be returning back. That is the minus 2 concept comes over here. Therefore, we needed the uh, this spectrum of numbers that is positive as well as negative. This as a whole is known as integers. So now uh, the, we will be today's activity is addition of integers. We are simply going to add the integers. And the number line, this is your mathematical tool which we will be using in next all the classes. The midpoint, this is zero. And then on if you move to the right side, this is your positive numbers, one, two. They have to be equally spaced. Remember when you were drawing the number line, the main thing you need to take care of is that the, the gaps between the consecutive numbers are to be equal. So better you take a grid paper or graph paper or if you are drawing it on your own, make sure you are taking equispaced number. So this is the integers. I have written it on the number line. Now if you want to represent a number on the number line, so can you give me black? Okay, so say if you want to represent 3 on number line, positive 3, you go to the right side, you find this 3, you mark this point, say P on the answer sheets, you have to mark it in this manner and say P, this is equal to your 3. Now if you say minus 2, then of course you will look it for the negative side and this is your minus 2, you mark this point as Q and you can write it as Q is equal to minus 2. Now this is on the blackboard activity. Now let us come over here and this is the number line. Anyone can come and help me to find one number from this pocket. There are the two pockets I have made. See, this is positive and negative. First, take some number from the positive number you have taken. What it is? Please read it. Show them. What number it is? It is 3. Plus 3 or minus Plus three? 3? Plus 3. Plus 3. Okay. So you place it over here. This is positive pocket. Yeah. You let me place it over here. Okay. So now please write it. No. First of all, represent it on the number line. Just make this pointer move and place it on the particular position. Okay. So is it correct? It is represented on number line? Yes. Okay. Now another, please take one number from the negative pocket. Okay. This number, please read it. Minus 6. Minus 6. So I place it over here. Please now make the pointer move to the right direction. One, two, three, four, five, minus six again. This one is minus six. Okay, right. So this is okay. Now please, this is the number line. Minus six is uh, represented over here on the number line. So in this way, the pointer is moved to place it on the right position. <coughs> this is the work of the number line. So you people can also make this type of a model very simple. You have taken, you can see, this is a simple board and a thread is uh, placed over here and the pointer is hanged on that thread, which you can move and you can play with this type of a model and you need some scissors and all that. And uh, integers, I have already told you. Now let us come over to the topic that is addition of integers. Again, I am already having some numbers. This is your say, first of all, let me add two positive integers. Okay, so I take out one positive integer. This one is also, this is uh, plus five. So first of all, 
I will add this integer 5 and 3. Okay, 5 plus 3. So positive means you need to move to the which side? Right. Right. To the higher, this is the increasing. So first of all, I will start from here. The pointer has to be on the first starting point. This is the initial point. You go to say 3 and then you need to move to 5. So we will, how many jumps are required? 5 jumps. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. You land up with 8. In this way, for positive numbers, we move to the right. Right? This is okay. This is increasing positive numbers. Now, if I take two negative integers, then what will happen? Again, I will randomly take some numbers from my negative pocket. This is the negative number pocket. So I find this is uh, minus 3, this is minus 3, okay. Now another negative integer, this is minus 4. So I am going to add two negative integers, okay. So first of all, please place it on the, first place it on minus 3 position, Make take the pointer to minus 3. First, you start from the initial point. This is 0, okay? Now, we take it to minus 3. Now, which number I need to add? This is minus 4. This is decrease in value. <coughs> decrease in value means I need to move towards left or right? Left. left. We are going to. This is decreasing value. We have already discussed it. So, the number of jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 jumps. Four, four, so, four we jumps. land up with minus 7. So, in this way, we have learned to add two positive integers, two negative.